Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the celestial wonders lighting up November's night sky. From dazzling meteor showers and a radiant beaver supermoon to Mercury's rare visibility and Uranus shining in opposition, creating a true feast for every stargazer's eyes. Skygazers have plenty of opportunities to whip out their binoculars and telescopes in November. There are some beautiful occurrences taking place in the skies. Here are some you do not want to miss. To begin with, we'll be talking about Mercury reaching its highest altitude. Mercury is hard to spot because of its proximity to the Sun, but in the initial days of November, it will climb to its highest point in the night sky. After sunset, you can even view it with the naked eye. Moving on to the next event, the Southern Torrid Meteor Shower. The Southern Torrid Meteor Shower will peak once again this month. Typically, the Torrids do not produce a lot of meteors, with five to six visible every hour. But this year, exceptionally bright meteors can be seen during the peak on November 4 to 5. The third spectacle we talk about is the Beaver Supermoon. November's full moon will be the second supermoon in a series of three consecutive supermoons this year, followed by one in January. It will reach Perigean Wednesday, November 5th, and will be at its brightest nine hours later. Next comes the Northern Torrid Meteor Shower. There is a second meteor shower in November, the Northern Torrids. They will peak on the night of November 11th, according to the American Meteorological Society. Only about five shooting stars are likely to be seen every hour. Fifth on the list is the Leonid meteor shower, one of the most famous of all. A third meteor shower will be visible in November. The Leonid meteor shower is likely to peak overnight from November 17th to 18. It is created by the debris trail of Comet Temple Tuttle. The conditions will be dark to make the shooting stars clearly visible. Our sixth celestial moment is the new moon at Apogee. The new moon will rise on November 20th. It will be on Apogee, the farthest point in the moon's orbit from Earth. Its distance lends it the name Micro New Moon. However, new moons aren't visible at all, with only the far side illuminated. And finally, we'll wrap up with Uranus at opposition. You will also have a chance to see Uranus which reaches opposition on November 21st. Positioned directly opposite the Sun, the planet will shine brightly. If you have a telescope, watch for a blue-green disc. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.